Last guest. All right, our last guest is Contiki, and joining us is the CEO, Dan Vetris. So we're going to go from flash memory in the data center, cloud security, to enterprise video. Dan, your three minutes begins now. Thanks, Fritz. Thanks, David. I'm the only thing standing between you and lunch now, right? <laughs> At least it's not the happy hour. So what does uh, Contiki do? We're actually more than video, and I'm going to touch on that uh, a little later in the presentation. We're enterprise content delivery, not that the uh, industry needs another acronym, but ECDN. So how do we differ from a CDN, a traditional Akamai or InterNAP or Limelight? We focus exclusively on moving content with inside the firewall. So those guys do not go there. They go to the edge, and then we pick up content from the edge. We move it for one of the largest accounting fir excuse me, firms in the world, all of their uh, accounting policies in PDF format. IT has traditionally put the kibosh on anything over 10 megs from a network standpoint. So we allow that to happen because the file only streams in one time. Uh, traditional ways of doing that over and over, if you have 100 people in a branch office, 100 times that file comes in. We only send it in once because we've dropped a client on every desktop or laptop or mobile device um, that is done seamlessly through IT, um, usually in the middle of the night. Uh, it's like a Java or a Flash install. And that client then has the intelligence to move and route the file from one machine or one user to another. So let's talk about video. We've got some of the largest companies in the world using video uh, content delivery from Contiki. What do they use it for? CEOs, top-down communication. Nestle, United Technologies, that airline you mentioned earlier, well, they need communication today, particularly as they go through a bankruptcy proceeding. We're the ones powering that CEO communicating to all their employees, whether they're at the office or at home. And many of those people do work from home, as you can imagine. So what we do is we think we bring together a concept that's been around for quite a while, the unified communications platform. Uh, we consider ourselves to be the third leg on the stool. We take care of buffering. We take care of latency, as the video in the background is alluding to. You never have to worry about Contiki not giving you high-quality video content delivery around the world. So the third leg on that stool, messaging's been around, been there and done that. Voice has been around, been there and done that. Video is in the adoption phase right now. We've got a number of global companies, as I referenced earlier, besides live events, they use it for training. They use it for onboarding of new hires. NCR delivers video to 12,000 field service people on a regular basis so they can troubleshoot ATM and kiosk machines. It's much easier than looking it up in a 400-page manual. So when you think about the applications, they're pervasive. Everybody needs to communicate better within organizations. As consumers, we've been conditioned by YouTube and Hula and Netflix, and that concept is now moving inside the enterprise, and we're the guys that are delivering it on a daily basis to some of the largest companies in the world. Okay, well done in, in uh, three-minute time zone. We haven't heard the buzzer at all today. No, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed. I was looking forward to that. I'm hoping I cut some people off. We didn't get to do that. All right, let's turn over to our judges, Kotiki. Who wants to go first? I'll give you a all right, looks like he's chomping at the bit to say something, right. so go ahead. <laughs> you know, I'm always chomping at the bit to say something. Uh, I think it's a cool product. I have a feeling that it's the sort of thing, as, as I said, as an enterprise, that I want to get from Riverbed or, or Cisco or... It's or a WAN Silver. acceleration. Well, right, solution. so, right, I mean, they're doing acceleration between data centers and out to other places. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I want to get this as, yeah. as a service from one of those guys. I get that they're not doing it right now. Mm -hmm. So I think that... As a startup, that's not a bad place to be. Exactly, right. Place. And they're about 10 to 15 times more expensive than we are as a hardware offering versus software only. Well, when they buy you, that will be the case anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice presentation. Hey, thank you. Yeah, all right. Score of eight. Okay, Boonzi. I liked your presentation, so I'm going to give you a nine. A nine. Thank you. Okay. And Charlie. I liked your presentation. Uh, I think you're a practical solution to a problem, but I think the problem you solve is smaller than some of the uh, antecedents that solve larger problems. Okay, a six. So we got a, a six, a nine, and an eight. eight. That's not bad. Okay. Well, judges, I want to thank you very much for your time. Again, we had uh, Art Whitman here. He's the director of information research, Boonzi Dickinson, and Charlie Babcock. Bab